Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you here today with Franz Niederholzer a farm advisor for the UC Cooperative Extension here in, in Northern California wanted to talk about preventing almond hole rot as that is a you know a continual problem that we're facing throughout the state one way to to lose some of your some of your crop yeah right so so what can you tell us about it well it's a it's a a group of or it's a condition that's uh, caused by a number of different fungal pathogens uh, rhizopus is a bread mold uh, aspergillus Monolinea. It's an infection of the hulls that can damage bearing wood, can remove bearing wood. So you lose the nuts from this year and you lose the bearing surfaces for next year. So it can be a real problem. Um, there's uh, Dr. Jim Adaskevich with UC Riverside has got sort of a three legged, a, a, you know, a three step approach to managing uh, hull rot in general, maintaining uh, adequate but not excessive nitrogen in the orchard. I think that they're looking at the target of, say, 2.5% ni leaf nitrogen. Um, in your in your July samples, maintaining a very a moderate amount of stress for uh, right around the first two, right during the first two weeks of hull split, early first two weeks of hull split, to dry the hulls just a little bit and and, and tighten up the uh, the timing of of splitting, so your your uh, exposure to the infection is reduced. Because the, most of these pathogens are wound pathogens, they need an open door, if you will, to get into the crop, and that open door is the hull split, the, the splitting hull. So the, the key time for most of these infections is that very early hull split, the same timing that you put your first hull split application on for navel orange worm. Um, monolinea is an earlier season, but aspergillus and rhizopus are both uh, during the hull split period. So nitrogen management, um, a brief, moderate uh, water stress there at the very beginning of hull split, followed by adequate water going into irrigation cutoff. And then fungicide applications, again, at that timing of infection, um, very early hull split. Those are the three, an integrated program to manage hull split as, as effectively as we know how. Right, and so after you've, you've got this, uh, this hull rot, how do you identify it, you know, po is it post-harvest and determine what maybe went wrong? It, it causes uh, stick tights, so un unfortunately if you go out in your orchard after you shake, say you're non perils and you see, um, you know, you see, see nuts stuck on there, you can always tell rhizopus because it's got a black um, black spores. Aspergillus has black spores too, and they can get on the nut, which is a real can be a real problem. Uh, but you'll see the the if you have hull rot, the the nuts stick to the uh, stick to the tree. They don't shake off, and they they require more work to um, you know to sanitize the orchard to clean them up to get the mummies out of the orchard in the fall. Um, you can um, you can identify try to identify the particular problem by by visual. Um, if it's if it's uh, the monolinea. It's hard to tell because they, the, the dried um, hulls are tanned, the, 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 the organism is tanned and that's harder to make out. So if it's not black and it's stuck on there and it's not a boron issue, um, could well be um, the monolinea. And that, some, you, could, you could look at lab tests for that in some, some commercial labs. Great. Thank you, Franz. Read more about pest and disease management for almonds in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.